Perhaps you've seen this video online. Okay, go ahead and shake it. <gasps> I think she nails it. That is one yellow cloud of doom for all of us allergy sufferers. So to find out what kind of tree this is and why it's releasing so much pollen, we contacted Kyle Wallach, a botanist from the U.S. Botanical Garden. I think this is a cedar tree and it's releasing pollen from its male cones. Um, the pollen is meant to be airborne and it produces a lot of pollen to make sure it gets to um, the receptive female cones that are could be miles away. So the tree spends all of its energy on producing pollen rather than pretty flowers. And quite frankly, if you go out and look at your car right now, you'll see a whole bunch of pollen uh, on it, most likely. So that's who's doing that to my car. Tree! But in this video, there's actually someone beneath the tree shaking it. It's not like in nature you're going to see huge clouds of pollen drifting. Do you? It's meant to be airborne, so by that uh, reasoning, if you get a really good big gust of wind, you're going to see that kind of a pollen cloud generated. But mostly it's kind of a gradual release. And if someone's got really bad allergies, like I do, you probably wouldn't want to stand directly beneath a tree when someone's shaking it like this, right? Uh, probably, especially if you're asthmatic. That would be a little too much for your immune system to handle. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas, and that's The Pollen Count is High Explained.